So this is my next benchtop test that I've been doing with the uh, laptop to tablet project. So I have the motherboard and I have the speakers and all of the necessary components to run it and I'm hooked up to power. And I've had it playing 4K videos off of uh, YouTube for about 12 hours now. And this is really the only heat management that the laptop has is this uh, thermal plate. And underneath of the thermal plate is the CPU. And uh, it doesn't really have a fan or anything. It just has the thermal plate to transfer heat from the CPU and then dissipate it off. So uh, what I've been testing is making sure that the laptop's not going to overheat and shut down or anything on high graphics load since there's only a CPU and it doesn't look like it has any other GPU or anything like that. So um, it seems like it's doing okay. Um, I also have tried to emulate some PlayStation games. So let me go ahead and pull up uh ps or pcsx2 okay so now i've got the uh emulator up and we've got grand theft auto 3 we're going to emulate that game and what i was going to show is where the uh, bottleneck is right now so we've only got a cpu and when you only have a cpu and you don't have a gpu that means the entire demand of the bit processing falls on the single chip so what does that mean okay well you have a uh, uh, main computer processing unit, right? So your CPU. And what your CPU does is it interprets data and outputs um, other data. So that is a bottleneck on your system because if you can't process enough data on your chip at any given time, then it's gonna slow down your system so that the data can be processed. So what that looks like in a game that doesn't have a GPU, And you can see how laggy it is, right? So I'll wait for the video sequence to end and then I'll show you gameplay as well. Um, so let's close out of that. Um, see, it's taken forever to just get through a video, a video sequence. Um, and that's because right now that single chip is trying to process all of the information um, on the gameplay, on your operating system, how to run the operating system, as well as uh, the graphics processing to display the image on the screen. So that amount of load on that single chip is causing this laggy, the laggy performance, okay? Um, so the way to solve that is to add some extra processing power and the way that you would do that on like a gaming PC is to add some type of uh, GPU. So like a GTX, like a 1060 honestly, would probably be able to process this just fine. What the problem with that is, is adding an external GPU adds a lot of power and uh, power demand to the system. And we're gonna be limited on how much power we can supply over a 12 volt battery. So I think what we're gonna do to solve this problem, this tablet you know, may not be uh, set up for PS2 emulation, but we're gonna try this again um, and we're gonna get a SBC. The SBC that we're gonna end up running is the Latte Panda. Uh, it's got a eight gigabyte RAM uh, as well as CPU and GPU. So a uh, SBC that can um, process graphics as well as processing data um, on two separate chips is gonna be a little bit faster at this. And since it's a single board computer with a low power draw consumption, it should work pretty well with the touch screen display without uh, a lot of power demand. The other thing is we can get rid of this high power demanding uh, physical disk drive instead of a solid state drive, which is also pulling a lot of power out of our system. So let's uh, reduce the uh, power demand, which is gonna make it more efficient. Let's increase the computing power and see if that will solve our problem with game emulation on this tablet. Um, in the end, we should have a completely portable uh, game emulation tablet that can emulate you know, Xbox, um, PlayStation 2, and probably like GameCube games. Um, I mean, we'll see if we can do Xbox 360 or something, but, but that's probably gonna be pretty data intensive on a tablet. Um, but this will be pretty cool, like a portable PlayStation uh, 2 or, you know, any type of game emulation tablet that you can bring with you and pull out your controller and play on a 15-inch touchscreen.